What is going on guys, it is Steven, your semi-comprehensive guide here, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to clean your AirPods Pro. In this video, we'll be loosely following Apple's guidelines and recommendations for cleaning AirPods Pro, and for that process, we are going to need a brush of some sort. I'm going to be using an old toothbrush in this video, which works just fine. We're going to need some Q-tips, about three or four of them should do. Some toothpicks, same thing, about three or four of those. A small bowl or dish some isopropyl alcohol, and then lastly, a cleaning rag or paper towel of some sort. All right, so go ahead and grab your AirPods and take them out of the case. We're gonna clean the individual AirPods first. You can go ahead and set the case aside for the time being. Now, the area where the most dirt is going to build up on these AirPods is going to be in the ear tip right here. Usually there's a lot of dirt and earwax on the inside. I pride myself on having very clean ears, so mine are actually not too bad. There's still some dirt inside of the ear tips, which we'll clean out. There's also a little bit of dirt here on the outside of the AirPod as well. So we're gonna go ahead and clean these and make them nice and sparkly. So let's start by taking the ear tips off. Easiest way to remove these is to just pull on the ear tip and make it inside out and then just pull on that and then it should just come right off. So go ahead and set the AirPods aside for now and then these ear tips we're going to take and we're going to put them in this bowl that we have and we're just going to take some of that isopropyl alcohol and we're just going to put a little bit of it over the ear tips and just enough to cover the bottom kind of let them soak for a little bit you can kind of move them around make sure that the isopropyl alcohol is covering the ear tips and then just let them sit in that bowl while we're cleaning the rest of the airpods so go ahead and just set that aside bring these airpods back in here so i like to start by getting a q-tip getting that wet with a little bit of isopropyl alcohol not soaking wet you don't want to get that liquid inside of the grill piece because that's where the actual speaker is just wet enough to get a little bit of isopropyl alcohol on the outside of the ear tip and i'm just going to use that and kind of work around here if there were a lot of dirt of course you'd be targeting areas where the dirt is caked on and kind of stuck that one looks good for now and then this one same thing there's a little bit of that dirt on the bottom here, so I'm just going to go over with the Q-tip. There can oftentimes be dirt in this crease as well, so go ahead and just work that Q-tip in there. Okay, so once we've gotten that all covered with isopropyl alcohol, we can grab a toothpick, and we can target this area right here between the speaker piece and the outside of the AirPod. Just go around there, make sure there's no dirt inside of there. Same thing along this line, we can kind of work any of that dirt out of there if there's any stuck in that that looks pretty good for now and then lastly just go ahead and take your cloth and just polish that air pot off any remaining dirt that's left on after going over with the cloth you can just basically repeat the process with the isopropyl alcohol all right, there we go. Those are some clean AirPods right here. So we can set those aside now and get started on the case. So similar process for this. We're going to go ahead and get our Q-tip. And we are going to wet it with some isopropyl alcohol. And uh, the areas in the case that usually collect dirt are right here where the ear tips meet with the case. Uh, there can also sometimes be dirt inside where the wing tips go into charge. You have to be careful down there though because there are connector pieces so we don't want to get that too wet. So let's just go ahead and work our isopropyl alcohol around here, loosening up all that dirt. Gonna do it on the top here as well. And like I said, there sometimes can be dirt all the way down in the case. And in that case, just grab Q-tip, go down there with a little bit of isopropyl alcohol, and then just try to work that out. Okay, so that's pretty much all loosened up, and we'll go ahead and clean that up in just a minute. Now we can flip the case over. If there's any dirt on the outside of the case, just go over that with the Q-tip. And then once you're at the bottom here, there are a few more places where dirt can collect. I have the second gen AirPods, so I do have these speaker grills. There can oftentimes be lint or dust that collects in those. And then also in this charging port, if you put your AirPods in your pocket a lot or you have them in a bag, there can oftentimes be lint or debris or fuzz in that charging port. That can oftentimes be the cause of charging issues or if your charging cable isn't going in all the way, it's usually because there's dirt at the bottom of that port. So I first like to go take the toothbrush or any kind of brush really, and I just like to work through these areas getting those bristles in those crevices and just loosening any of that dust. And then if any dirt remains in that charging port, you can take a toothpick and then try to loosen that up from the bottom. Be gentle in the port itself because there are connectors at the bottom that are used for charging. So 
Make sure not to damage those. Don't use anything metal inside of the charging port. And then we can go ahead once again with our brush. I like to give it a little blow with some condensed air. Um, if you don't have that, you can just blow in with your mouth. That's fine as well. And that looks pretty clean to me. So now we can go ahead and take our cloth once again and go over the case. Just polish that off. That looks pretty good right there. Looks like a clean AirPod case. We can now set that aside as well. And we can bring our ear tips back into the picture here. These have been soaking in that isopropyl alcohol mix for a while now. So any dirt that's on them should be loosened. Now there is a grill piece at the bottom of the ear tip. You may be able to see that right there. That basically stops any dirt from getting into the actual speaker piece. But do be careful when you're cleaning out the ear tips because we don't want to puncture that at all. So I'm just gonna go ahead and grab a brush and just gently kind of work around the inside of those ear tips, getting any dirt out. I like to flip it inside out just in case there's any dirt underneath as well. Make sure there's none there, it all looks good. And then it's still a little bit wet, so we're gonna take our cloth and we're just gonna dry that off. All right, do the same process for the second ear tip here. All right, so once those are clean and dried off, we can go ahead and reattach them to our AirPods. There's no left or right ear tip. Either one will go on either of the AirPods. And what we're gonna wanna do is on the AirPods, you may notice along this ring, there is a little notch. There's also a notch right there on the ear tip as well, you may notice. So what we're gonna do is we're going to match the notch on the AirPod to the side of the ear tip that does not have a notch. So we're gonna turn it this way and we're gonna stick it on. Just like that, if it's inside out, just flip that back in place. There we go, that's one. And then the same process for the second one. Once again, align that notch on the AirPod, align it on the ear tip, turn it so that the empty side is facing the notch on the AirPod, and then just click it into place, and then flip that back out. And there you have it, those are two clean AirPods as well as a clean AirPod case. Make sure there's no moisture at the bottom where the connector pieces are. If you got any down there, you can let it dry for a couple minutes before putting the AirPods back in. Mine's all good to go though, so I'm just gonna put those back in. And there you have it. That is a pair of clean AirPods, a clean case, and you are all ready to put those back into your ears without feeling disgusting. That pretty much does it for this video. If you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like down below. If you enjoy my content, be sure to subscribe. Beyond that, though, I've been Steven, your semi-comprehensive guide, and be sure to have a wonderful rest of your day.